In this clip, we'll look at geometric sequences and the, the sequence of partial sums. So, look, have a look at a sequence A1, A2, A3, etc. This sequence is geometric. If two consecutive elements divided, so AK plus 1 divided by AK, is a fixed number. So, the ratio between two consecutive elements elements in the row equals some r and this r is supposed not to be equal to 1 so if we look at a generic element an for some natural number then we can split off this is r times an minus 1 and a n minus 1 is again r times a n minus 2 so that we get a n equals r squared a n minus 2 etc etc until we end up with the first element in the row in the sequence which is a1 so we get a n equals a1 times r to the power n minus 1 for all n so as an example consider a n equal to a half to the power n minus 1 then we clearly see that a n plus 1 divided by a n two consecutive elements in the in the sequence is a half to the power n divided by a half to the power n minus 1 so by so this equals a half so this is a geometric sequence so a n defines a geometric c sequence with reason r equals a half so ca can we calculate the sum of all those elements well just take two squares each of with sides equal to one so that the surface the area surface area of one such square is one now look at the first element. The first element has value 1, which equals the square, the full square. A2 is a half times the square, so we find it as a half times the surface area here. And A3 is 1 fourth, it's 1 fourth of a square. So actually the ANs subdivide the complete, the, the, two, uh, the two squares, so we get ultimately the surface area of this partial sum, so if you take all sums of all elements, that Sn is very close to 2 for high values of n. Now we will derive this result explicitly. So Sn is put over here, this is the first partial sum of the first n elements. So if we now take half of this sum, so we take half of one, we get a half here, etc. Then we proceed. Then basically what we do is shift all the elements one to the right and we get a final element a half to the power n. Now we perform the same trick as for arithmetic sequences. So now we just subtract the equation below from the equation above. So we get here at Sn minus a half times Sn is 1 minus a half times Sn and here we get a 1 minus 0, a half minus a half and 1 fourth minus 1 fourth so we get 1 minus the final element a half to the power n. So we get as a result Sn equals 1 minus a half to the power n divided by 1 minus a half which equals 2 times 2 minus 2 times a half to the power n. So this is an explicit formula for the nth partial sum of elements of a geometric sequence.
We can use the same trick to find partial sums of general geometric sequences. So how does it work in general? Well, first put down a1 plus a1r plus a2r squared, etc., plus the the nth element in a geometric sequence which is a1 times r to the power m minus 1. So this is the nth partial sum. And we multiply by r. Then we get r times a1 over here, r times a1r, which is here, a1r squared. So we just put those elements and shift one place to the right. And as final element, we get a1 times r to the power n. Now subtract the, the equation below from the upper equation, then we get 1 minus r times sn on one side, and the other side a1 minus 0, and these ca terms cancel over here, until the final one, which equals minus a1r to the power n. So this equals a1 times 1 minus r to the power n. So, since we assume that r is not equal to 1, we can divide the left-hand side by my 1 minus r. So, this gives the result that Sn equals a1, the first element in a geometric sequence, times the fraction 1 minus r and divided by 1 minus r. So, if we if we know that r is pretty small, smaller than 1 in absolute value, then if we increase n, then we see that r to the power n vanishes, so that we get ultimately as sum a1 divided by 1 minus r. So for example, take a decimal number, 0 0.3333 infinity, then this number equals the following is a 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 plus 3 thousandths, etc. So basically, if we compare those numbers, then each time we pick a number and multiply it by one tenth. So actually, what we see is that this decimal number is the sum of a geometric sequence and with r equal to 0 0.1, and as a first element, we pick 0 0.3. So apply the formula above, then we see that 0 0.333 equals the infinite sum, s infinity, which equals a times 1 divided by 1 minus r, so in this case it will be 0 0.3, a equals 0 0.3, and we divide 0 0.3 by 1 minus 0 0.1. So this equals 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.9 is just one third.